to our online Sunday school. Okay, wait, wait. When I say hi, I want you guys to answer me with hello. When I say hello, please answer with hi. Okay, are you ready? Let's try. Hi kids! Oh, I cannot hear you. Let's try once more with a louder voice, okay? you guys so bad but just because we have this virus it doesn't mean that we should stop praising Jesus and learning about God's Word and sing together and pray together as a community all right kids before we praise his name and learn about God's story let us pray together Hold your hand and close your eyes. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful Sunday morning. Lord, as we are here in our own places to start the Sunday school, please give us heart and ears to receive your words. Help us to learn together, to worship together, to share together and to pray together in the name of jesus christ we pray amen hey 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 let's start our sunday school come on get off those couches come on get up okay now we will sing come follow me from Psalm 23 verse 1a okay from Psalm 23 verse 1a so I will read the verse and please repeat after me Psalm 23 verse 1a the Lord is my shepherd Let's try once again. Psalm 23, verse 1a. The Lord is my shepherd. Okay, good job. After this, we will listen to God's word. But before that, we will sing again. So, get up, come on, let's sing. Me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. 
good. Yeah, it's been a long time since we haven't met each other yet, right? I really hope that after this pandemic, we can uh, gather together and also we can praise Jesus together and we can learn about the God's word and we can pray together and play together, okay? So, before we start our Bible time today, let's pray together. Close your eyes, don't forget to fold your hands, and let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for gathering us here. Even though we are separated by distance and also time, but please may you give us wisdom to learn together about your word and to know you more through your word. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us. Thank you for your wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, so today we are going to learn two new words. The first one is Pharisees and the second one is Law. Come on, let's repeat once again. Pharisees and Law. But do you know who are the Pharisees? Hmm, let me tell you about that, okay? So, the Pharisees were men who followed lots of rules. They thought they should work to please God. So, everyone should follow all their rules. But you know what? Actually, they did not understand the word of God. It's sad, isn't it? So, these men thought that they already knew God. They thought they knew God more than anyone else. So, they are very proud and they underestimate other people. Do you think it's good or bad? Mm, of course, it is bad. Why? Because we do not have to work to please God because we already got the grace from God through Jesus Christ who died for us on the cross. Okay, now our second new word is law. Our rule is a law. And in the Bible, Jesus said there are two most important commandments and they are called the law. The first most important commandment or law is to love God with all your heart. And the second most important love is to love your neighbors as you love yourself. But do you know that the Pharisees ate lots and lots of other rules that God didn't give to them. They made them up. But God did not say to do all of that. Hmm. It's bad, isn't it? So now, let's watch and listen to me to understand more about the Pharisees. So, the Pharisees in Jesus' day told people, You do what we say. We know what God wants you to do. We read the law and then tell you. Also, the Pharisees were very proud. They loved to stand and pray out loud. Look 
at me. Look at me. Look. I obey the law. Ooh, can you see? They made others feel so small. Then, Jesus came from the heaven above, obeyed the law, and showed his love. He made the blind to see, and told the people that God sent him. But you know what? The Pharisees got as mad as can be. Who is he? Only Jesus from Galilee. So, the man watched Jesus as he taught, and they wanted Jesus to be caught. But every place that Jesus walked, people watch and people talk. I love Jesus. He is God, you see? But there are others who also said, how can this be? So, as you can see, when Jesus was here on earth, he taught people about God. But not everyone liked Jesus. The Pharisees watched Jesus and they thought they knew more about God than anyone else. The Pharisees did not understand what Jesus said and they also didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God. So they grumbled and they said, Jesus, who do you think you are? They were angry and it was like they were in the dark and they could not see anything. They didn't know what was going on and they didn't know who Jesus was. But of course it is different with us, right? We know who is Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. When you turn on the light, of course we can see the things that we cannot see in the dark. So when Jesus turned the light on, he showed the people God the Father. But for those who did not believe that Jesus was the Son of God, of course they were very angry and they grumbled. But some people who believed what Jesus said that he was the Son of God, they were joyful and happy to hear that and to believe. So kids, you can see that when you trust and you love God, you will also trust and love Jesus, His Son. Jesus is the Son of God and when God forgives our sins, we will live with Jesus forever in heaven. And it will always be light in heaven. So, let us learn to always put our faith and our trust in Jesus, who is the Son of God. Let us also learn to love God with all our heart and share our love to other people. It can be your family or your friends or other people okay now let's we pray to end this session let's fold our hands bow down our heads and close your eyes dear father we love you father we know you are true we are very thankful that you sent Jesus. We please you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, now let's continue to our next activity in this online Sunday school. Welcome back to 
our activity sessions. The things you will need is your printed worksheet and some colorful speedo. Okay. Now you just heard about the Pharisees and Jesus. Of course, you do not want to be like the Pharisees. But we want to be like Jesus and to follow Jesus. To follow Jesus means that we have to follow his examples, including the way he thinks, he speaks, and the way he acts. So, in this activity, we will write the things that we can do to follow Jesus. For example, we obey our parents, we share our food with our friends, or we help the people in need. Okay, so let me show you the way to do this activity. So, you can just write down there about the things that you can do to follow Jesus' example. For example, you write, obey my parents. You can also decorate it. Or perhaps you want to add another uh, thoughts about it. Another things that you can do to follow Jesus. You can just write it inside the phone picture or maybe outside the book picture you can also write another things that you can do okay for example it's like this okay kids if you have finished your worksheet you can hang it on your room wall or you can also keep it inside your book to always remind you as a follower of Jesus Thank you kids for today. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye. God bless you.